Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rick and I'm here too close to you guys with a, a big video. Um, so basically I have two unboxings, which would normally just be the video, but I had totally forgotten, uh, as I've been recording all these videos, um, at one shot, I forgot all about taking the stuff out of my backpack that I grabbed on our adventure on the 4th of July. So I'm ready to get to the unboxings, but I'm gonna dig right into the 4th of July pickups. Um, so basically, I had off yesterday. Um, Bridget was out of town. RJ, I'm getting today, I'm going to pick him up. So I wanted to uh, do hunting on the 4th of July. Dave sadly wasn't around, uh, cinema sickness. He is in North Carolina as I record this on the 5th of July. So I reached out to BBG, Booth Babe Greg, and uh, see if he wanted to go to Columbus Flea Market because they are open on Thursdays and that's what day the 4th of July fell on. And he was down. Uh, and then I reached out to Brandon, who is Ultimo Movie Channel. Uh, if you guys don't check out his channel or his Instagram, please do so. If I remember, I will put a link down below. Fingers crossed I remember. Uh, he just started his YouTube channel about a month ago, I believe. Uh, very nice dude. I talk to him all the time on Instagram. Uh, and then Brandon Sullivan, I believe, is your last name. Yes. Uh, he comments in videos, and we met up with him last time we were at Columbus. He's also in the New Jersey area. Uh, I will link his Instagram down below. If Yeah, I'm going to link his Instagram down below. Uh, very cool guy, posts a lot of great stuff. He was actually at Warp Tour and I told him I was, I was watching because they did a 25th anniversary of Warp Tour. So I was checking out his uh, Instagram to see who he was watching. But I have like a, a decent pile of stuff that I want to show off from our adventure yesterday. Um, like I said, it was very cool to hang out with them, um, to meet Brandon Ultimo, I'm going to call you. Uh, to meet Brandon Ultimo, to hang out with Brandon S again, uh, and of course Greg, and my little sister Sarah came along. She actually got a handful of movies as well, uh, and she got some Disney pins. Uh, she was a bit bored by the end of the day, but it was a really fun day. The first thing I want to show, however, was not uh, from yesterday. It was from the day before at the Goodwill, and uh, it was a movie on my wish list that's fairly common, but this was a mint copy, and that is Caddyshack 2. Uh, I enjoy this movie a lot. This was a movie I watched a lot as a kid because I wasn't necessarily allowed to watch the original because it was rated R. This was rated PG. So I was able to watch this one. Um, and I like it. I know it's not a great movie, but I personally really do enjoy it. So Caddyshack 2, grab that to add to my collection because it is not available on Blu-ray. Um, so the rest of this stuff is from yesterday. The first thing here is actually from Brandon Ultimo. Um, he, I reached out to him because he goes hunting at a bunch of places I've never been to. Sent him a list of TV shows I was looking for and uh, this was one of the shows he found for me. Uh, so I gave him the money for it. Brand new factory sealed. Curb Your Enthusiasm season five. So now I just need season nine, I believe. Uh, it was four bucks, brand new factory sealed. So. I definitely don't mind paying that for a TV season. A uh, show I've never watched, but I've heard amazing things. So I will dig in, especially now. I believe I have the first eight seasons now, so I can kind of like, you know, jump right in. So Curb Your Enthusiasm, very cool. Um, a CD here, I paid a dollar for this. Uh, as you guys know, I love Kevin Smith. I love Kevin Smith movies, and uh, I've never seen this soundtrack out and about, so I wanted to grab that. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, the soundtrack. It looks like there's a lot of uh, clips from the movie. Morse Day in the, in the time zone here. Afro Man, Bloodhound Gang, Run DMC, Bon Jovi, Steppenwolf, Stroke Nine. So I grabbed that. I think it'll be a fun listen. Uh, the next thing here is an artwork variation I did not own. Uh, I have to take pictures of my artwork because people are asking like which ones I have, which ones I don't have. And uh, surprisingly I did not own this. This is the original version of it, the original artwork version, and that is Rounders on DVD. This was a buck, so I wanted to go ahead and grab it because I did not own this artwork on DVD. 
So very cool. Uh, this next Blu-ray was 50 cents. And this is the only Blu-ray I bought until later in the day when Sarah and I stopped at a Walmart. But you'll see that in a minute. Uh, I've never seen this movie, but I, an amazing cast. Tommy Lee Jones, Susan Sarandon, Charlize Theron. Uh, in the Valley of Ela, 50 cents. I went ahead and grabbed it. I mean, 50 cents for a Blu-ray. It would have to be pretty bad for me to pass on. It was mint. This, I guess I'm going to show you this way. Uh, it's my understanding this is ridiculously rare on Blu-ray. It goes for stupid, insane money according to Blu-ray.com and Amazon. I think this was supposed to be in a slipcover of some sort, but it was mint, and I actually really like the artwork. So I'm going to show you the back cover. Uh, it is the People vs. Larry Flint. I'm not going to show the other side because I don't want to offend any younger viewers. But there's the spine there. People vs. Larry Flint. Like I said, I think it belonged in a like a slipcover kind of thing. Um, but it has like the uh, the little insert book in there. The DVD is in mint condition, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, I want to say I paid two dollars for that. So very cool. Uh, this was really cool. Warp Tour 2002. Uh, lots of great bands on this. Sorry if this is loud. I'm trying to flip out the microphone. So Warp Tour 2002. Uh, this features something corporate, Annie Flag, uh, The Used, Hot Water Music, Muddy Muddy Boston's, No Effects, Newfound Glory, Flogging Molly, Real Big Fish, Alkaline Trio, Bad Religion. So I grabbed that. I have Warp Tour 2003. Um, so I wanted to, I've never seen this one in a while, so I grabbed that. That was $2. Uh, this was a really cool find as well that I paid two dollars for something. I never see uh, I think RJ will be excited about this one and it is Phineas and Ferb Star Wars Minty fresh uh, Very excited to grab this um, Like I said, I don't Now I'm second-guessing myself Yep, nope, we did not have this so I wish they would put these out on season sets They have all these individual releases, but never release seasons Disney Movie Club we need Phineas and Ferb seasons. It's a scam. Um, and then this I grabbed at, I'm trying to think. The Goodwills had this thing where if you signed up via text message, you got 20% off your order. So these ended up costing me $1.60 a movie. The first thing I bought is the Friday three movie set. Why did I buy this? Because I own Friday and Next Friday on Blu-ray. However, Friday After Next has never been released on Blu-ray. So I figured for the $1.60, I would go ahead and grab it. Um, you know, I'll keep it sealed until I want to watch Friday After Next unless I find that by itself cheap. Um, like I said, brand new, factory sealed. For a buck sixty. I went ahead and grabbed it because Friday After Next I did not own and uh, has never been released to Blu-ray. And then we were at a different Goodwill. This one was the Goodwill right by Columbus Flea Market. Uh, and grabbed a few more titles that, once again, never released a Blu-ray. The first, a brand new factory sealed copy of Captain Ron with Kurt Russell and Martin Short. Very cool. A, uh, an early, I guess this would be a touch, Touchstone Pictures release. Uh, and then this, how is this not on Blu-ray? This is an amazing film. Um, yeah. What's Eating Gilbert Grape, brand new factory sealed. Jo this is one of the five Johnny Depp movies I like. This and Blow are probably my favorite Johnny Depp movies. Uh, but Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, Juliette Lewis. Um, like I said, $1.60, brand new factory sealed. When I found out this wasn't on Blu-ray, I definitely wanted to grab that up. And then I treated myself a little bit. Uh, I have RJ this coming weekend. It'll be in the past. Uh, but him and I are going to watch this. I hope he's a, as excited about it as I am because I can't wait to watch it. And that is Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've been wanting to see this. I was like, I need to find it. Uh, I had a $5 Shopkick gift card available to me at Walmart. So I think this cost me like, it's like $7 or $8 out of pocket. A little more than I normally pay. Um for Blu-rays, but I wanted to grab that. 
and uh, hopefully, like I said, RJ and I are going to watch this this weekend. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's a fun time. And uh, I'm excited about watching this. Package time, guys. So the first one here comes from my boy, Joe Martinez. Joe Martinez. Um, if you guys don't watch Joe's video, I threatened it the last time I unboxed something from Joe. Go ahead, pause this video. I'll wait. Oh, I guess I need to tell you why you're pausing. Pause this video and go subscribe to his channel. Watch his videos, him and Marie. Uh, here, here's a bag, hold on. Bag toss, I love it. He does bag tosses, it's great. So, Martinez Joe uh, sent me over a package here. I know what's in it, but you guys don't. Um, I may have already pre-opened it as well. So let's see, oh, there's a note. I did not see that when I initially opened it. So Joe and I did a little bit of a trade. Uh, I grabbed a movie for him recently, uh, and then he grabbed something for me, so we traded. And then uh, it looks like something bonus is in here, so we'll see. Rick, glad to help find a few titles for you. I threw in an extra movie uh, in the box. In one of your recent videos, you mentioned you didn't have this, so wanted to pass it along. Well, I appreciate that very much, man. Thanks for the great videos and, and hooking me up finding titles I need. Thanks, Joe, Marie, and Gary. So, like I said, Joe and Marie are awesome people. Their channel is so much fun. If you guys don't, please check out their channel. Um, so the first thing here, the, the trade thing, I'm super excited about this. Apparently, uh, it was brought to my attention that these were being located at Five Below, which shocked me. Uh, this has been on my wish list for quite some time. I have the original version. I'm gonna sell that and keep this version. Uh, it comes with a headband, a ticket for the sequel, which was a while ago, and then the steelbook, and that is Zoolander, the blue steelbook. Uh, very excited to own this. It comes in this big bulky package. Like I said, there's a uh, Zoolander headband, a ticket for Zoolander 2, which as you guys know, was awful and has been out of the movies for a long time. So that is for me. He also grabbed a copy for my buddy John. Uh, so that is going to him. John sent me money and I sent Joe money. So that is for him, but this is for me. Uh, let's see what else he sent along. Well, without spoiling anything, let's see. I wonder who put the Bambi sticker on there. Uh, hmm, could it be Marie? But, uh, so I knew, <laughs> this is not what I was sent, but uh, as you guys can see, or as you might know, I like the movie La La Land a little bit. Uh, I do not own the movie La La Land on 4K, but I was mentioning to Joe how I was trying to, to kind of lock down a copy, and uh, he sent over a 4K slipcover for me, so when I find it, because the odds of me finding it with a slip are gonna be tough, I'm actually bidding on one on eBay now, so hopefully I get it. So he sent over the slip cover for it. So when I do get it, I have the slip and uh, I cannot wait. I need to hammer down La La Land on 4K. I want to watch this in 4K so bad. So thank you very much. And uh, very cool. He sent over the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Kevin Hart, What Now? So as you guys might know in my recent Dollar Tree video, I found Kevin Hart, I'm a grown little man. And I had mentioned this movie because it was shot at Lincoln Financial Field, home of the world champion Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and he performed a stand-up show for 50,000 people. Uh, the beginning of this movie starts out like an action James Bond movie and then it goes into a stand-up. So uh, very cool. Thank you very much, Joe. I was looking for this and that's amazing. Um, and the La La Land slip is very cool too. I'm going to keep this in here for right now so it doesn't get messed up. And then the big boy sent over from Brandon S. Uh, Brandon reached out to me. Uh, it's my understanding, and Brandon, I apologize if I get this wrong, but a buddy of Brandon's had passed away. He was a big movie collector. 
uh, and his mom was basically trying to sell uh, parts of his collection or his collection just to, to help, you know, financially. So Brandon went up uh, to his buddy's mom's house and uh, he reached out to me. He goes, there's a ton of movies here. Uh, they're basically doing 10 movies for $25. So $2.50 a movie. Are you interested in anything? And boy, oh boy, was I. Uh, lots of amazing stuff here. Hold on a second, I'm trying to. So all in all, oh, hold on a second, guys. Oh man. Bear with me. All right, so I got 18 movies. Nineteen movies. Uh, I sent along, I think, fifty-five dollars to cover the cost of the movies and then shipping, which Brandon was very kind to ship them to me, even though we ended up seeing each other a week later. Um, and guys, uh, I don't want to give away anything, but we got blue cases and a clear case there. Uh, there were a small handful that did not have their DVD. I will show those first. Um, the first being Justice League vs. Teen Titans. It is the Blu-ray, but it's not the DVD. And I told Brandon that was fine. Like I told him that's perfectly cool. Um, the next is the Blu-ray of Nerve missing the DVD. But like I said, I'll try to find it super cheap, like for a buck or something. But usually I used to just pass if there was no DVD, but what are the odds of me ever watching the DVD? Um, this was cool. Once again, the Blu-ray only, no DVD. The Great, yeah, the great Mouse Detective. Very cool, a Disney flick. And this was probably one of the coolest things here. I've seen this movie, I really enjoyed it. Uh, this release is from MVD Visual. Uh, it is a draft house film. I believe it has reversible artwork uh, in a clear case. And that is The Invitation. Let me see here. So it has a book, it comes with, ooh, I like the reverse artwork guys, check this out. So very cool, reversible artwork I'm a big fan of. I think I'm gonna flip it out actually because I like that artwork much more. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, that looks sharp. The Invitation. If you guys haven't seen it, it's a great like uh, suspense horror movie. Uh, this only has the Blu-ray. The DVD of this is probably gonna be a little hard to track down but definitely wanted to grab that on blue. So I grabbed that. The next two movies, Where to Flip, I talked to Brandon when I saw him yesterday. He said that was perfectly fine. Like he, you know, appreciates me supporting his friend's mom uh, by, you know, buying some stuff. But these I bought, honestly, to flip. The first one I don't know much about. It seems pretty interesting, but I don't think it's my kind of movie. From 2014, it's called Time Lapse. Uh, it goes for decent money on eBay, so that was my plan to kind of recoup a little bit of the value. And then this movie, I did not think I owned. Apparently I own it. So uh, it's out of print and pretty, pretty decent uh, out, out value wise. Uh, and that is Road Trip, the unrated slash rated version. I did not think I own this. I need to, I guess, go through and update my list. But that is to flip as well. So road trip and time lapse. If anybody's interested, hit me up. Uh, and then the rest of this stack, guys, is for me, for my collection, including a handful of wish list titles. So I'm gonna kind of rifle through this. This is the fourth video I've recorded. I've had to turn the air off. I'm getting very hot. So see no evil, hear no evil, Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. I have never seen this, so I'm excited about owning that. I've never seen this either. A Beautiful Mind, I've heard amazing things. Uh, Ed Harris and Russell Crowe. I definitely wanna check that one out. Uh, here you go, horror movies, guys. Uh, one and two. As you guys know, I'm a big wrestling fan, so of course I needed to own 
See No Evil and See No Evil 2 starring Mayor Glenn Jacobs. I mean Kane. Um, so yeah, I, I've heard good things about See No Evil, so I wanted to grab them both and uh, I'll eventually check those out. Uh, this movie is great. If you guys have not seen this movie, definitely go ahead and check it out. Anna Kendrick and Sam Rockwell star in Mr. Right, uh, a funny like action comedy movie. Very unexpected when I saw it that it would be as good as it was. Uh, a Stephen King flick here, Dreamcatcher. This stars Morgan Freeman, Thomas Jane, Jason Lee, Damian Lewis, Timothy Olyphant, Donnie Wahlberg, and Tom Sizemore. So a heck of a cast. Uh, I've never seen this. Uh, I've heard really good things. So Dreamcatcher. Another horror movie. I know, guys. Horror movies. Dead Silence. Any good? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Somebody's in this that I, uh, I'm a big fan of, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. I guess I'm mistaken. Let me know, guys. Is this any good? Dead Silence, unrated. Uh, I've never seen it. Stupid comedy movie, but a funny comedy movie. Rob Schneider, David Spade, John Heater. The Benchwarmers. Now I need The Benchwarmers too, right? Not gonna happen. Um, a Ryan Gosling movie I've never seen or uh, I've never owned. I've heard weird things uh, and we'll see. I will check it out and that is Lars and the Real Girl. Has anybody seen this? I think he like has a relationship with a doll if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. Let me know. It sounds bizarre, but I wanted to check it out. Uh, this I didn't know existed. I thought it was only on Digibook. And when I saw it in the pile, I looked it up to make sure it was legit. And it was legit. So I grabbed it. And that is Falling Down on Blu-ray starring Michael Douglas. What a movie. Um, yeah, I did not think this existed outside of Digibook, but it did. So I snagged that up. And like I said, guys, I basically paid... Uh, 55 divided by 19, like $3, $2.90 a title, I believe. Uh, and the last three were all wish list titles, so huge finds in my opinion. This one I will hopefully be watching this weekend because RJ will be excited to see it. We got Bruce Almighty starring Jim Carrey, a movie he has not seen. Um, he loves Jim Carrey movies, so I'm going to show him that one. Bring It On, Kristen Dunst. Uh, or Kirsten Dunst, I guess it is. I always say her name wrong. Uh, I did not own this. It was on my wish list. And then the last one, guys. Uh, out of print. Hard to find. I did not own it. It has been on my wish list for forever. On Blu-ray. Where did I go? Oh, where's it coming from? Where's it? Oh, Clueless. Uh, Alicia Silverstone, Paul Rudd, Brittany Murphy. I, yeah, I was pumped when I saw Clueless in the pile. There was some really cool stuff that Brandon got. Uh, I was very jealous. He got Ace Ventura 1 and 2, um, which is very cool. He got some Kevin Smith stuff, but uh, Clueless was definitely my like gold goose in this pile. I thought it was Road Trip, but I obviously already own that. So Clueless was my other golden goose in this uh, pile. Very excited to own this. So I'm not even going to try to hold everything up because there's way too much. I am tired. I am hot. I'm turning the air see yeah, the air see the AC on, uh, having a drink of water and just relaxing for a little before I put all this stuff away. Uh, so as always, guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit the like button down below, leave comments, hit subscribe so you can see all future videos that I drop for you guys. Uh, be sure to also check out the description box down below where you can find links to uh, my eBay page, my letterbox where I rate and review everything, Blu-ray snob, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that can be found down below along with my email address and P.O. box, all in the description down below, guys. As always, until next time, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks when I record again, but it'll be closer when you're watching this, but not here. You guys know what I mean. I basically record two weeks worth of videos. This way, the next time I record, there's videos for the next two weeks. It's my system. It's working out great. Also, uh, I should have mentioned this four videos ago. Hopefully, the video quality has improved, guys, so let me know. Uh, new camera, new phone. As always, until next time.
who's down to movie. I need a beer. Bye. I'm going. I'm having a beer. Just, you guys gotta go. No, you gotta leave. I, no. Bye. All right, fine. I'll go. I'll go. See ya.